Hi and welcome to my channel. I've had a lot of people ask me for detailed information on my home-built CNC machine. So I will be putting in some effort, making a few clips for you guys, explaining all the separate parts of it in detail so that you guys know what's going on and have some information for yourself. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is my x-axis. Um, I have built a modified 4x4 Joel CNC, the hybrid rack and pinion version. The modification I did was I extended my x-axis to just over 8 feet instead of 4. So I will show you guys what I did to beef it up. Because I don't have a cameraman, I will be standing behind the camera during these videos. So the plans called for 80-20 aluminum extrusion and I had heard that, that w there was issues with f flex, minor deflections, etc. So I went ahead and installed a 3 inch C channel in between two aluminum extrusions, 80-20. The C channel is 3 inch by 1 and 3 quarters I think, with a 1 inch thick wall, steel. I primed and painted it black just for the sake of having it match the rest of my build. The seat channel itself was installed the same way I installed my angle iron. I have quarter inch bolts and I used the corresponding T-nuts which I don't think I'll be able to focus on right now which then allowed me to slide the entire beam in between the two extrusions. It was a little tricky getting into him to tighten up the bolts, but with a small socket I was able to tighten them down. In case you're wondering why my seat channel is not flush with the bottom, I have no reason for that. I just drilled it at the most convenient location and it turned out that way. My next step was to find a suitable E-chain. I had seen other people installing it this way, having it go between the beams, which I really enjoyed. It saves a lot of space. And I ordered this chain, which is two and a half inches wide and fits perfectly between the beams with just a little bit of play. Leveling the beam is not a big issue. It's really easy to slide. You have a little bit of play with the quarter inch bolts and the slots on the extrusions. An awesome tool to have though to level everything on your machine is a wiki digital angle gauge. So a digital angle gauge is really easy to use. You turn it on, you put it on the surface you want to be your level line, hold the zero, it zeroes it. After that, you can put it on the item you want to check to see if it's level, and it will give you a reading. Note that mine is out by 0 0.1 degrees, and that is mainly because I have a wooden base on my table and it's standing on a wooden floor which changes every day. In case you are actually building Joe's design, doing it my way you will notice that you have about three quarters of an inch gap between the wall of the carriage and the beam. I fix this simply by placing a three quarter inch piece of MDF in between the carriage and the beam and tightening it down. Seems to work fine. Ideally, changing the size of the carriage might have been a little better, but I was unsure of space, which as you can see now, there would most likely be enough space to modify it in such a way. <laughs> 